Hello everyone and welcome to the Caden March 2024 web app demo. We have some exciting new releases this month. We've just released the Kadem AI-powered 3D Marketplace, where you can browse through over 10,000 high-quality, ready-to-use assets. We also have a new prototype plan, 10 credits every month for only $50. Ready to try Kadem? Let's head over to kadem3d.com. We've updated our landing page where you can find a preview of the Marketplace. Click on any of the featured assets to open it. To sign up, click on the login slash register button on our website. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to the assets page. Here, you'll find all your 3D generations. You'll see a preview of your most recent one up top. If your model isn't textured, you'll see that the preview will show the normal maps. On the right is where you'll find your recent activity. Now, let's start generating. Click on the Create button on the left. First, I'm going to be generating 3D from an image. Simply drag and drop your image, and our program will automatically remove the background. You can upload up to six images of a single object. Next, choose the generation quality. Compare the different qualities by clicking Compare Qualities. Ultra will give you the highest detail, while Standard is for simpler outputs. For this one, I chose the high quality. Then, you can name your asset, set a max poly count and a height. Finally, click Generate. Your asset will start queuing. Next, we'll try our text to 2D feature. Simply describe the image you want to generate and click Generate Image. This costs no credits, and you can regenerate the image if you are not satisfied with it. Then, go through the settings as usual. Here, I am also setting a height for my model. Finally, click Generate. Next, we'll try uploading our own 3D model. You can upload an FBX file of up to 50 MB. Name your asset and click Upload. This will show up in your Assets page like any of your generations. Finally, let's try purchasing an asset from the Marketplace. Choose one that you like and click Purchase. Once you've finished checking out, you'll be taken to your library, which will contain all the assets you've purchased in the Marketplace. Open the asset and click Edit in 3D Studio. This will take you back to the Kata map where you can then start editing or texturing your model. When you click on an asset in the Assets page, the card view will pop up. This will contain details about your model. You can flip through them using the arrows. You can also check the wireframe, share, and download here. Let's open the asset in the 3D Studio to get a closer look. On the bottom, you'll find various options. The arrows are to go through the different versions of your asset. Click on the circular arrow to go to the current version. Click the icon with the cube to open a mini assets page. Here, you can click on the different assets to quickly open it in 3D Studio. You can also show the history of your asset, which will contain all the different versions. Every time you make an edit, a new version will be made. Next, you can show the input image, show dimensions, and the wireframe. You can also delete your asset here. This will delete this specific version. If you want to change anything about your model, you can click Iterate. You can do this in the card view or the 3D Studio. To start, click on the pencil tool to start drawing where you want the edits to be made. If you want to add on to your model, you can also upload an image. Finally, describe the changes you want to be made and click Submit. You can find the new iteration in the asset's history. Generate LODs creates different versions of your model at lower poly counts. 
To use this feature, type in the number or percentage at which you want to lower the poly count. You can add up to three LODs. Each version will cost one credit if you're not on the add-on subscription. When your LODs are done, you'll see the new poly count versions in your asset card view. The wireframe should look less dense than before. To get the subscription, go to add-ons in the settings and click buy add-on. Merge is a free feature that lets you join separate meshes together. Either click on the mesh to select it or use the checkboxes. You can click select all if you'd like to merge all the meshes. Once you click Submit, you will have a new merged version. Another free feature is the Fill Color tool. Easily color and add materials to your assets with this tool. First, choose a color or material. Then select the meshes by clicking on them to color them. You can also sample from your input image. Click Pick a Color and select any part of the image to sample that color. Then, click on the mesh you want to apply that color to. Finally, don't forget to save. Now let's try automatic texturing. This is also part of the add-on subscriptions. We have three options. Let's start with image projection. This is best for orthographic views. You can rotate the cube to select a side, then click on the image you want to assign. To delete a texture from a side, click the X next to that side's label on the image texture. Finally, click Submit. Since we didn't have a back view, you can see that the back is colored with a solid color that matches the dominant color of your texture. Next, let's try stylized texturing, which is best for less detailed textures. This will give a more cartoony feel to your model. Again, select a side, then an image, and click Submit. Finally, we have PBR texturing. PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering and is best for highly detailed, realistic textures. PBR includes normal, albedo, and roughness maps. You can either choose your input image to texture or upload a texture tile like this. If you want to texture your models outside of KDIM, you can streamline the process by using our automatic UV unwrapping feature. Simply click on UV Unwrap and Submit. If you're on the subscription plan, all your generations will automatically have their UVs unwrapped. Once you're done with your asset, you can go to 3D Studio and leave feedback. Please let us know what you think about your generations. This helps us improve our app to give you a better experience. You can share your asset with others by clicking Enable Sharing or download it in a variety of different formats. To get the add-on subscription, head over to Settings, then Add-ons. We have UV Unwrapping, Automatic Texturing, and Generate LODs subscriptions. Choose the best one for your workflow. You can also find our different plans and settings. If you're interested in a more tailored experience with custom styles, integrations, and API access, let's discuss an enterprise plan. If you need any support, please reach out to us on Discord or by clicking this button in the app. For a comprehensive guide on all our features, including input image guidelines, please check out docs.kdom3d.com. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to connect with us, please check out the links in the description.